A very warm welcome to you. Thank you so much again for joining us in this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to use lexica.at. The link to lexica.at is available in the description of this video. Now, lexica.at helps you to generate nicely looking images by just typing your text, what we call prompts. So here I'm on lexica. You notice we have all these images that have been created and we are going to be demonstrating how to create such images. So you'll go to lexica.at and then you notice here you can search for an image or you can generate an image. So, but first we want to click on get started so that we can create an account. Then you add your email address here. You can also log in with your Google. So I'll just continue with uh, Google there. So I'll click on my email. And then you get this sign into lexica.at. You click on continue. And now you are logged in. So now to generate an image, you'll come down here and click on generate. And at the top here, you notice we have home, generate, history, and likes. So once you click on generate, it gives you this part where you can now describe your image. And then you can also put your negative prompt here. By negative prompt, we mean what you don't want. For instance, here, maybe I want a mouse that is eating some cereals. But then here, I don't want any cat in that picture. I just want a mouse. Or maybe I want a cat or maybe I want whatever I want. But the negative prompt is what you don't want. Maybe you don't want blood. You don't want flowers. You don't want animals in the picture you're, that you're generating. That's where you type that. Then on the left hand side, this is where you put your dimensions. You can put either square, you can put 832 by 1152, and then you can also decide on the generation speed. Will it be fast or slow here? And then you notice here we have the sample images generated. So how do you do the prompt? So for the prompt, you simply type exactly what you want, but you can also generate a prompt from your chat GPT. So let's just type, just type here, a cute baby smiling while playing with toys. So if we now click on generate without having to put any negative prompt, then it means we have not limited lexica on what it can generate. Then you notice here we have more ideas. If I click on more ideas, what that will do is it will give me more ideas or in terms of character, emotions, activity, objects, etc. So more ideas, I can put maybe infant. I also want uh, something to do with emotion, joyful. For the activity, I want a child who is entertaining. So then for the objects, I want blocks, I want dolls, I want balls. So whichever object I need, then for the setting, I need playground, nursery, living room, backyard, whichever it is. Let me put daycare. Then if now I'm satisfied with that, you can click on uh, refresh or you can click on generate if you want to. So, but let's just click on generate without refreshing that. And now you give it time and there it is. You notice our images have been generated. A, a baby smiling while playing with some toys. Here we have our image generated and the images are so beautiful. You notice we have all these images generated. So let's generate another image now. But now in this case, we put a negative prompt. Let's hide the more ideas there. Let's put here a mouse chewing grains. Uh, let's put corn grains instead of just grains, corn grains, and then for the negative prompt here, we put cat so that we don't have a cat in that picture. We just have a mouse chewing corn grains. So you click on again here, generate. You can change the dimensions here. So like for here, you notice these ones are all in portrait. You can decide this one to be more on landscape. So let's drag that one to be landscape this way. So you drag sideways. This one is landscape. This one from here, that is square. Then going upward, it now becomes portrait. So you choose depending on what you would want. So we now click on generate. And now this doesn't take a lot of time. You'll automatically notice that our images for the baby we have generated will change once this is done. 
and there we have it. We now have our mouse chewing corn. You can notice here we have the mouse that is already dressed, looks unrealistic, but good enough maybe for baby stories. And then we have this one that looks a bit realistic and these other two. So for you to get a more accurate image of what you want, what you do is you make sure that at the top here, you give more details. For instance, a mouse eating corn grains, realistic photo, HD, 3D. So you just give details that you think will help you get the exact thing that you need. So realistic there. So click on generate so that we just see the difference that we are going to get just by editing our prompt the way we have just edited by just adding a few more words. And that is the idea here we're talking about getting this part for more ideas. So that is it. You now notice we have a more realistic looking mouse here that is now very realistic looking as opposed to these first ones here, which don't look so realistic. So if you now want to use any of those images, for instance, if I click on this image here, it now zooms in. Now I can see the image well, and now I can right click and click on save image as, and then I can now put the name there and save the image. But the other option to save this is simply to click on this download part. Every image, once you take the cursor there, you'll see the part for explore this style. We have generate variations, and then we have download image. Now we want to generate variations. So let's use this that image to generate variations. So you click on generate variations so that we get the same mouse in different variations. So you use the image that you liked to get the variations that you want. And so there we have it. We now have the same mouse with different variations. If you look at the ear of this one, it's slightly different from this ear again. And that is how you get the variations. Then on the right hand side, depending on the image you like, when you see these three dots and click on them, you notice you can load a prompt into the editor, but you can also delete an image. If you want to click on to like that image, you can simply click on the you can simply click on the hat at the top here. You can also view the history, your history at the top here. You can see the likes and then you can also see your account here. So I hope this has been helpful. That is simply how you use Lexica at. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.